Y'all, welcome to Nets Republic. Homie DJP over here. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So the kid is on assignment right now. <laughs> we doing uh, and some business, but that's not here or there. So I'm on the road. Um, I apologize if the wind is like so aggressive that all you hear is <laughs> my bad. But um, I'm obviously not in Nets Republic headquarters right now. That's my fault. But I watched the game this morning. We literally just landed yesterday. So I watched the game this morning on League Pass. They had an option to watch it in Korean. I was like, yo, League Pass trying to step it up a little bit, but that's not here or there. I thought that was really cool. Um, this is another one of those games. And I feel like it's always the case with every game this season. I don't know how I'm supposed to take it. Like on one aspect, they won. And I'm here for that, you know? they want right but then the other aspect there's so many other things to critique i never know how to go about it so let's start with the obvious with saying a dub is a dub we beat the clippers i will 1000 percent take it you know what i mean and, and and the clippers been on a little bit of a downslide you can say it's because of hard and again there's so many different places we can go the one thing that matters is we got the dub and a dub is a dub and you know how we do around here a dub is a dub but then you have some of the negatives Cam Thomas is hurt, right? Cam Thomas went down in the, I want to say, halfway through the third quarter. Let me wait for the wind to go by. P.J. Tucker and um, Paul George were out there doing that, like, Cali football type stuff where it's like they play super aggressive, but it's, like, covert. So it's like the refs won't really call it. I counted about six times on the play where Cam stepped on P.J. Tucker's foot as he was going down where he was getting fouled egregiously. But I guess we just won't call that. You know what I mean? I guess we just won't, because it was a play on, which is insane, but that's not a hint of there. So Cam Thomas went down, which is a shame because he's been cooking. But then, then Jacques Vaughn got in his bag. And I gotta be honest, I owe Jacques Vaughn an apology. I really do. You know, again, these videos are so complicated. Oh, excuse me. These videos are so complicated because there's so many places I want to go with this. Like, I want to do the I was right dance because you've seen as soon as Cam Thomas goes down, here goes Lonnie Walker, right? And not that that's a bad thing. It's just like, I just, I just know he's waiting in the wings for that opportunity and Jacques can't wait to put him in the starting lineup. And he might get his chance now with no Cam Thomas. Now, obviously, shout out Lonnie Walker. He played amazing. This might even be the Lonnie Walker game. That might be the Nets and the PJ right now trying to take me out, but that's not the end of there. But look, I thought he played well, stepped up when he needed to. I mean, the second he checked in, he starts cooking and starts hitting threes. Big shout out to Mikel Bridges as well because he's doing his job and showing up because now he has no choice. There's no one else out there to score. Like, he has no choice. Shout out to Spencer Dinwiddie by having a terrible first half but being able to contribute towards the end of the game. That's what we need. Shout out Dayron Sharp. Shout out Dayron Sharp. I know I'm really hard on Dayron Sharp, but shout out Dayron Sharp playing really physical. Y'all already know how I feel about Dennis Smith Jr., the behind the back passes. And this is the other side of it where PJ Tucker and Paul. Paul George were playing that covert like goon squad type stuff you can say the same thing about Dennis Smith Jr. you can say the same thing about Royce O'Neal you can say the same thing about Finney Smith we got covert goons as well who is not just gonna let you walk up in Brooklyn and treat us any type of way we got them dudes too and I want to say shout out to Jacques Vaughn not only for creating an environment what is with the plays? I'm saying though, did we go to World War III and I just wasn't aware? And they can't draft me, I'm an only child, but that's not here there. Anyway, listen, 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 listen. Jesus! As I was saying, shout out to Jacques Vaughn for creating an environment for individuals like this to get their stuff off. And maybe, and, 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 and we voiced this a little bit, he would be talking and preaching about things where it's like defense first and hustle and ball movement. And we would be looking at the team like, shock, that's not the roster you have. And while I think you can fault him for trying to implement this kind of stuff without the right players and pieces, he has it now. This is a Jacques Vaughn team. You feel me? Shout out, uh, um, I don't know, I forgot man's name. 
Who's the dude in charge of the Nets? I don't forgot. Sean, Sean, Mar Sean Marks. M my fault, my fault. Sean Marks. Shout out to Sean Marks for acquiring a roster that can fit whatever crazy mad scientist schemes that Jacques Vaughn is trying to get off because it's working. It's working. Yo, we're not, when we're out there playing with Waffer or whoever. <laughs> Still nobody's name, I apologize, but with Waffer at center. How are we getting this off? We don't have a center outside of Dayron Sharp. We got Finney Smith. We got Royce O'Neal at the five. How are we pulling this off? And the fact that they started the game, and Ben Simmons wasn't out there too. Again, there's 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 many things we can discuss. I'm not gonna poop on Ben Simmons right now. I will leave that for another day. There's too many things to get into. But the fact that they started the game with them feeding zoo box every single play, they feeding zoo box the whole time in the first quarter. No one's able to stop it. But for us to be able to get in their chest enough. You feel me? To battle our way back, to get them out of their game plan. And again, it's not like we was playing, I don't know, the Kings or something like that. It's the friggin' Clippers. They got a starting lineup of James Harden, Westbrook, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Zubox, and we won? Dog, shout out Jacques Vaughn, bro. I was so wrong. And that's what I'm saying. I might be right 99% of the time, but if I'm wrong, I'll get on here and say it. I'll get on here and say it, Jacques Vaughn, I was wrong. You killing it, bro. Whatever type of... I call Jacques Vaughn the mad scientist. I call him the mad scientist because whatever he is cooking, sugar, spice, anything nice, this man Professor Utonium, bro. Whatever he is cooking up is working. And I owe that man an apology, for real. Let me know your thoughts on the game down below. It was obviously a insane team win. Everybody came together. I didn't think anyone played bad. Again, if you look at the box score, it was a trash can shoot, right? It was terrible. But if you are watching the game, I don't know how you come away from this game and say anybody played bad. And that's coming from me, the most critical sports fan on the internet, I'm sure. But let me know your thoughts down below. I'm about to go to the beach, beach, let's go get away. I'll see y'all tomorrow night. Uh, we playing the Celtics. It's anyone's game, y'all. It's anyone's game. With how the Nets are playing, I don't even care who's healthy. It's anyone's game. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see y'all later. I'm going to go chill on the beach. It's biz time. It's biz time. Hey, y'all, DJ. It's beach time. Subscribe.